What's going on everybody? New here. Um, I'm going through maintenance plans and I think that I was looking around and I couldn't find a video of the creation button so I figured I just went through the change and kind of finagled that around and learned a little bit of that so I'm going to do another video there. Um, that way this one's not crazy long but um, I these are clean there are no maintenance plans on them at all so like you can come up and click services and when this pops up it means there's nothing there so these are completely blank uh, the new deletion set will also delete uh, I, it, it acts really weird but it deletes notifications sometimes um, it seems to do it uh, if you like highlight everything and, and delete a couple times it will like clear it out I don't know if they're staggered or you know um, if there's extras there so it's like if it's so old that they're like three and you delete it might delete like the oldest or the first one uh, I, I don't remember, I'm not really sure the systematically how that uh, operates but um, once we've got that done here, so we're just going to highlight the ones that we want. They all have to be the same material number. Otherwise you're doing onesies and twosies. Like this would be one, this would be one and one. So we go up, we hit create. This is the new one that they added in. This is the create. This is what we want. Uh, we want to stay with days. We're going to go with biennial um, because that's the new 169-19 uh, for the USAR so my videos are specifically geared at the reserve everything else is the exact same in the system the only thing that you need to know is that this is our policy stuff so we hit create maintenance plans at the top then we go through tolerate tolerance tolerance Start from, this should say last scheduled service. That is, this would, that would be the start date for your maintenance plan. And then the maintenance text is the flavor text that's going to pop up um, on your notification. So, um, I want biennial, but... We're going to do April 1st, but I don't, I want it to start next year. So instead of going back two years, ooh, just kidding. Uh, we're going to go back one year. Um, if I went back two years on this, it would start this year. It would start in 2020. Since I went back one year, it's going to start in 2021 um, on the f April 1st. So then you highlight everything, you do uh, carry out mass changes or mass change selected parameters, and then you'll see infos populate, boom, like that, yeah, then we highlight it all again, and right here it says ready to create. You'll notice that, that um, if there is a maintenance plan on it already, this will be a little yellow triangle. This will tell you that there already is a maintenance plan in existence. It will still let you create another one, but um, just know that you're going to be creating a duplicate. Um, and then once you've highlighted all of this, you click this button, highlight it all again, and click create and schedule. And that's it. So it says created and scheduled right there, and you're you're done. Super easy. Hit back, hit back, hit back. You can go up here and click services. It'll take a hot minute, and then boom. So this is the ones that we just created. So and it says that the cycle start is in 2019. So like I said, it's going to start the early date in 2021. The reason that it does not start in April is because a biennial plan is 36 
plus 36. So what that is, is 10% of one year. So 10% of one year is three, it's 365 days. 10% is 360-ish. Um, and then it's times two because you're doing a biennial plan. So your plus or minus tolerance of 10% that we check the box on, what that does is it will, it says right here, says now January. So it took April and it went back 72 days or 70, yeah, 72 days to end in this spot to basically say that this is when the notification for these maintenance plans will populate. So once they uh, once this date comes, all of these maintenance plans will generate a notification for them. And then you have until uh, the plan date. You have until the plan date, the day before the maintenance plan was created. And then your 10% tolerance also goes to the late side. So that that admin deadline stop sign will populate at this marker right here um, if they have not been completed. So the notification, it gets created here. This is when they expect it to be planned or, or sent in or done or whatever. It, it, can, it can fall anywhere in this, for, in this time frame. And then after this marker, the notification statuses will change. So that's, that's it. Like, that's creating maintenance plans. Super easy. So stay tuned. I got uh, deletion and editing coming up next. Peace.